don't know. So this kind of made me think about like how we have switched in hip hop in general. Like, yeah. um, I'm not sure if you caught on to Kanye. He um he recently a couple months back made a statement about that when he went he only went into the um the backpack situation just for the clout. You know I mean so yeah. like he clown like. Most deaf and um Talib Kweli, like Talib Kweli, you like he suck. You know I mean, I'm like, whoa, even Talib Kweli got offense to that, but by him putting yeah. on that album that Donda too, he's like, yo, he still called my name, he bigged me up. So I'm, I'm listening to yeah. Talib like that too. You know, so I'm like, yo, oh man, because it's easy, it's easy now. Yeah, you know see, so but a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people not to cut you off. A lot of people don't understand and know that Yeezy before he was all the way signed to Rockefeller, Yeezy was kind of mm -hmm. on Rockers. You know what I'm saying? Rockets, remember that Rockets Records back in the day? That, you know, That's with Feral Munch and all of that. So he was running in them circles with the people. <laughs> he was with the backpackers. Exactly. Right. We right. know that. He, he made, but you see what Kanye, what he did was he made the backpackers cool. So he got right. all the college students to vote for him. Think about it. You got thousands yeah. of people in college, right? So now, that's what that most that's the most um clientele, you know what I mean, for mm -hmm. the black club, right? Is these yeah. college schools, right? So Kanye, he's like, I'm gonna wear, you know what I'm saying, my little V-neck, you know what I'm saying, polos, whatever, but I'm gonna have polos and all that. Yeah. I'm gonna have my gold chain on, still wear Tim's. Like, so like he he mixed Best up of both worlds, you know what I'm saying? He mixed up street with prep. And I think right. that was that was super what he did right there. Cause I remember that, like all the pretty boys, yeah. Was like, Getting in style and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if people really think about it, right? Like I remember growing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, some kind sometimes you say, Oh, this is the pretty, he's a pretty boy here. But the pretty boy got no respect on the block. So even if one or two girls liked him, the girl who even she dated a pretty boy, she'll get she'll get bored with him and she'll mess with the thug because right. the pretty boy didn't have too much backbone. You know what I mean? So now yeah. when a thug took that pretty boy image. And I can rock right. my teeth with like this. I could wear this, but I could make it more baggy. Like I mean, Nas was kind of that, kind of that crossbreed of a pretty boy stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? type of scenario. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Other than that, we was rugged. You know what I'm saying? It was meant to look rugged. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the woman still was like, "Yo, I don't want the pretty boy couldn't come pick up his girl from the from the hood." I mean, right. All the girls out there, like, "Yo, you mean?" So yeah. I, I see that whole scenery. They like, see you with you, and they gonna try you just because you know what I'm saying? They 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 know you ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? They want to show your girl and try to play your face in front of your girl. Yeah. Yeah, it took Nas and AZ to come through. Yeah, the guys with the 360 waves. Yo, back in the days you had 360 waves, you was a punk. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest. There's a certain time frame. I'm not going yeah. like, to call me up and say, nah, bro. I, I, like I said, there's a certain time frame. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. Ghost yeah. Fears and them guys came around, and that's different. You know what I'm saying? Wu Tang, that's what I'm saying. The thugs made it different. It came with right. a pretty hardcore thug style, you know? Yeah. Married yeah. the two images, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They married the two images together. So Kanye took that, he took that like an alley-oop, you know what I'm saying, to get yeah. into the game, is what I was thinking. You know, he rapped around there, then, you know what I mean, besides making his beats and all that, then boom. Now, his, like, if you remember that last, um, what, what album was that? The College Dropout when he went against 50? Yeah. 50 went at it, so... I think that's what like just repelled Kanye to a different level. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and it showed that he had an audience. You see what I'm saying? Because at that point they thought that the gangster rap was gonna win, but it was a yeah. lot more people that, that went to school, that went to college, that went to, you know what I'm saying? There's just regular people out here working, they're related. Hip hop is all about not even hip hop, music, any art is about relatability. And if you could find the people that relate to you, then you win. That's a fact. That's what I was saying. That I, I believe that the, the times of being a tough just being a gangster, it started to die down. So Kanye, that was, was just then it came to like more fashion. You know I mean like, oh, I got this because remember we didn't really care about chains and bling bling bling. As as Kanye was coming in and changing with the rock and stuff, remember the South is coming in now, and you got hot boys, you got little Wayne bling bling. Every time I come around your city, bling bling, and Jay Z talking about diamonds and VVS quality. Nobody even knew about the quality of a diamond and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not till Hove started. Yeah, Hove, Hove was early with that. You know what I'm saying? He was. You got. You can go back and listen to Reasonable Doubt now and start just by. Oh, this is what he was saying. Like you ain't catch that back in '96. You know what I'm saying? You, you're just catching it now. You know what I mean? But yeah. What's the difference between a 4.0 and a 4.6? <laughs> 30 to 40 grand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. They were spitting that stuff, man, from way right. back then. 
and the dope rappers back in the days didn't have money. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, hip hop transcended to a place where it's at. It's where grown, so man. It's, it's grown, <laughs> man. As we celebrate 50 years, it's like it's it's so much growth. But we like I said, every now and then we gotta take a look up and look around and make sure we're growing in the right ways and staying on the right track. Cause you know, at the end of the day, we don't really own it, man. We we we've let them other folks come in and take ownership of the other of the of the art, and you know, it's not up to us really where the art's going. So you know what I'm saying? They, to give other people ownership and they having their hand on it to guide it in the ways that, that they got in it, we gotta mm. make sure that we're being aware and we're present. And making sure that we're calling for that balance, we're calling for you know what I mean. Instead of letting somebody else drive us where they want to take us, you know what I'm saying. That's a culture. 